G'day everyone and welcome to Today on the Spot. My name is Randolph Ramsey and I am really proud to be the first Australian to actually ever host the show. And it's a really special show today because we have none other than Ed Boone on the set to talk to us about Mortal Kombat. Welcome, Ed. Thanks, great to be here. And it's especially exciting for me because I don't know if you know, but the game has been banned in Australia. So I flew all the way out here to have a chat to you. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, it, it's, it's a real bummer for us because our government sucks. But we're going to move on from that. But before we do talk about Mortal Kombat, we have a little surprise for you because yeah. I hear it was your birthday last week, yeah? Um, oh, my God. Yeah, it was. It actually was my birthday last week. So happy birthday. Uh, you know, the team at GameSpot have gotten together. <laughs> oh, wow. Here's Ricardo here rolling in wow, something. Wow, that is great. Yeah, we have, we have, we've got a cake for you. Uh, with a Molina. So happy birthday, Ed Boone. Thank you very much. Yeah. I appreciate that. I had no idea this was coming. I know. So we got Mortal Kombat and Cake on the same day. And I what is that? What's I that? What's that sound? Does anybody I don't know, know what, what that, that sound was. Right I don't know what that was. We are live. Oh, right? wait. Hold on. It's this phone what? right here. Hold uh, on. Yes. Oh, hello, Your Majesty. Yes. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. He's right here. Randolph. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, I'll let him know. I'll let him know. All right. Good day to you, too. Okay, let's get uh, on with the show right now. That was the king of Australia. Uh, bad news. So that was Bruce? Bruce? Yeah, that was Bruce. Uh, he's n you're not allowed to host this demo. I'm sorry. It's part of the whole banding thing. So we're going to need to get you out of here for a little bit and uh, get you over into a but, uh, special I, room. I, but wait, uh, I thought we were going to do an interview. Uh, we, I mean, we will. Don't worry about it. We'll just get somebody else in here. We'll get somebody else. It's okay. Somebody uh, okay. a little um, less Australian. Can I'm sorry. Some cake? Uh, later, 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 if there's, if, if there's any but, left. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You can go back in a sec, right? I mean, uh, don't worry about that. Don't worry about we're that. We're just getting okay. cake. We're just going to put you somewhere special so that you won't be bothering us with your Australianness. No, but I need to. We need to speak to Ed about, about Mortal Kombat. Oh no, that's fine. That's fine. We'll save you some cake, cake too. Don't wait, worry about wait. It. wait. There's no don't cake in here. No, this is, no, there's a lot of room. There's no wait. Wait, there's going to be cake. Don't worry, Sean. Sean, come on. Don't worry, Sean. I need. I need to get out there. I need Sean. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. God, that guy is complaining. It just never ends. All right. See you later. That was awkward, but uh, it's fine. We're here. There's cake. There's Mortal Kombat. <laughs> we'll move forward. Um, so, Ed. Hi. Um, it's good to be here. Uh, I'm glad you're here. Enjoy cake. So, we're really excited because we got to see a whole new mode here in Mortal Kombat at yes. GC. Yes. So, tell us all about it because it's kind of awesome. Yeah, you know, it's, um, it's called Challenge Tower. It's another uh, single player experience that um, we're giving for players in, in addition to our story mode. And it's imagined like this tower of um, little challenges to give to the player that, you know, slight variations on the, sure. on the play mechanic, kind of zany things, fighting without a head, fighting without arms, throwing your arms and legs at people. And uh, imagine 300 of them, you know, Many, many hours of going through and uh, the greatest prize in the world at the very top. Not to oversell the prize. Yeah. yeah. So, all right, well, let's hop in because the, we're all, those of us that have played MK know towers, but this is probably the biggest tower we've ever seen. Yeah, so imagine uh, one of our arcade towers that's usually 10, 10 tall, but now it's 300 tall, so it's going to take a little bit of time to go in. But you have all these crazy um, modes in there, you know, all the return of a lot of features, test your might. Test your sight, test your strike, test your luck. So a test lot of testing. your luck. What yeah. is that? That's test your luck is a um, imagine a slot machine that basically uh, kind of rolls and gives uh, the player a um, random tr random events that are gonna he has to fight in. This here is actually test your might, which was kind of introduced in the first Mortal Kombat game, and uh, so we're bringing it back. So this is one of many test yours that are. Um, littered throughout the uh, challenge tower. Very cool. Now, one of the, the neat things about this tower is some of the early challenges seem to be almost tutorial-like, just to kind of get people up to speed. Yeah? Exactly. It gets you kind of familiar with the fighting mechanic, uh, teaches you some of the offensive, defensive stuff, and then the craziness kind of comes in around number eight or nine. You start fighting, you know, people without heads and, and <laughs> zombies, and it's like a, a, a fighting. So there's, there's a little bit of teaching, but it's, it's a lot more of a, of a fun, you know, kind of crazy novelty than it is, uh, you know, a, a tutorial. Yeah, and we definitely need to call out the fact that the game blew us away with the visuals when we saw it at E3, and it's certainly come together even more. So what's it been like just to bring MK to, to look like this? And I'm sure that 
Sonya's vest is bulletproof and protective, right? <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, you know, our graphics are one of the things that we're, we're most excited about. When you, when you think about it, this is the first time that we've done a Mortal Kombat game, you know, an M-rated Mortal Kombat game on this generation of uh, platforms. So we have, you know, easily the most sophisticated presentation of um, uh, human anatomy as well as blood and um, all the uh, kind of crazy uh, violent stuff that we've done in the past. And your X-ray, the, the X-ray attacks we have to call out because they are totally nuts. Yeah, the X-ray attack is um, probably the most devastating move we've ever put in a Mortal Kombat game. Uh, you know, you see insides breaking right there. You see the kind of neck breaking and she slams up rock on his head. You see his skull crack. It's a really, um, a lot of internal damage is kind of highlighted in the... And, you know, the, the meter at the bottom now lets you, in addition to doing the x-ray attacks, which are sort of like, I guess, the upper end, you can power up your normal attacks as well. Exactly. You can do three things. You can either do um, enhanced versions of your special moves, which is like, you know, Nightwolf will, will shoot one arrow or shoot three arrows for the enha enhanced version. Or you can do the breakers, which is something that we uh, introduced in Deception, mm -hmm. so you can break out of a combat. Or you can save it all up and kind of spend it all on one x-ray move, which is, you know, easily the most devastating in terms of damage. Now, and we're also checking out some of the stages. And this, this particular challenge is really interesting because you're telling people to target specific kind of sections on the yeah, body. Yeah, yeah. This, this one is kind of like you have to have a certain amount of head hits, chest hits, gut hits, and leg hits. And so, you know, the, the, you're, as you're fighting, that's your real goal is to get that. It's not so much of a just wear your opponent down. It's hit them in so many uh, different places. And that's, that's a little bit of a tutorial, but it starts as, as you gradually go through the challenge tower, it gets more and more kind of zany. You know, before you know it, you're throwing your arms at people and all this crazy stuff. Yeah, and we've been, you know, as we've been seeing these little modes here, we've definitely seen a lot of familiar faces, uh, you know, from the series. Uh, you know, how's the fan reaction been? Because the internet kind of exploded when you guys, you know, unveil this game and started saying some things about the roster. So what's Yeah, this like? this you know this game is um, all about returning to MK2 and 3. Um, and so it's kind of like for the most part we I've always been kind of saying, you know, this is if you have a favorite character from Mortal Kombat 1, 2 or 3, there's a pretty good chance that you're going to see them in uh, in this game and uh, we've slowly revealed, you know, kind of uh, verifying certain characters being in the game, but uh, we've been pretty consistent with that as the new characters have uh, been announced. Yeah, and, uh, it's like, and I guess in a lot of ways the fans have been saved the hassle of harassing you to, to put characters in the game because pretty much almost anybody people would want is in, right? Uh, no, I get plenty of harassment on Twitter, <laughs> actually. Um, so a, lot of, a lot of people are, you know, pretty, pretty angry that we're not including some of their later favorite characters. But, um, you know, we, we have, this game's going to have DLC, so we're going to be downloading characters. And so there's always, uh, there's always a chance that we're going to get uh, those, uh, the Reigns and the, um, and the crazy, uh, you know, more obscure characters from Mortal Kombat. Oh, this is nice. Now, while we're watching uh, some skulls and... Testing their luck. Oh, anybody that have questions for us, go ahead and let us uh, know on Twitter. Uh, our at GameSpot.com Twitter feed. Go ahead and let us know if you've got questions. I've got a lot of people uh, from overseas lamenting just when they're about to go to bed. Something like this happens and they have to stay awake. <laughs> Sorry, dudes. Now, let's see. What else have you guys shown new off here at GDC? So we definitely had uh, the Challenge Tower, which is one of the biggies. We got to see some new playable characters. Yeah, we've had recently, we've actually introduced um, so, some, some new characters, you know, and when we have uh, some gameplay that shows, shows off their kind of crazy antics as well as w one of the, <laughs> in my opinion, one of the best uh, stage fatalities we've ever had in a, in a Mortal Kombat game. And... Uh, you know, the, the, it really gives you an indication of just how many layers are in the fighting engine. You know, this, this game we've really tailored for the hardcore fighting engine more than any Mortal Kombat game we've done before. So we've had, we have things in there that we really feel the, the, the kind of tournament players that we're really going to eat up. You know, and, oh, look, first question, is Cabal in? Sorry, man. Oh. <laughs> God, the kids aren't, you're not kidding. Because this thing's lighting up. All right, that's cool. Uh, so the other thing I wanted to point out is, you know, you're right. There's a lot of hardcore stuff in here that we got a chance to check out. But what I found really interesting is you guys seem to be including a lot of tools for people that were maybe intimidated by Mortal Kombat oh, yeah. early on. Like the Fatality Trainer, I thought, was kind of it's kind of genius because I know a bunch of people that want to play the game, but when they play it, they want to do fatalities. Exactly. They don't know. Uh, the Fatality... Um 
we put a fatality trainer in the game. It actually highlights a part part of the ground that you're supposed to stand on, and you um, and it shows you the move that you have to do, and you really get a feeling of of the fatality. You can you can turn the timer on or off, and so I really you know the the result of that is people really kind of get back to the whole fatality thing. People who thought they were no way they could ever pull one off, they leave there thinking. I'm going to go to a, do a fatality on somebody, and um, uh, to me it's one of the most exciting kind of hidden gems that we have in the game that people are really going to gravitate to. And, you know, the other question that I think a lot of folks have had, you know, are the fatalities because they've, you guys never seem to run out of ideas and they seem to get even crazier? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we, we do have, like we asked Aaron, one of the dudes on the team that we talked to earlier this week, kind of where they get inspiration from, but I have to... Like, is there some kind of massive wall at work where it's like, hey, let's pick some of these? No, you know what? It, it, I bet you if you got a bunch of guys here and you all sat in the room and you thought, let's make up some crazy fatalities, it'd be the same meeting <laughs> that we have. You know, it's, it's the kind of crazy stuff. There'd be one person saying, you know, no, that's crossing the line. We can't do that. And so that's when you know you got to do it. And then <laughs> so you have all these kind of, um, uh, kind of morality um, arguments about, you know, what's, what's uh, doable in the game. But, you know, from when we started this game, we knew we wanted to do Mortal Kombat with fatalities that are going to give you a reaction like you felt like when you played Mortal Kombat 1 and 2. That was our goal. And that, from what we played, got to tell you, sold. Now, Danny O'Dwyer, one of, our, one of our friends from overseas, wants to know, will the controls be as easy as MK versus DC? Uh, actually, they're easier, I think, in a lot of ways. You know, we don't have the three-dimensional walking that we're, we're, we're not asking the players to do. So it's really kind of like the simple mechanics of you know, the 2D fighting. So it's vertical and horizontal, jumping over projectiles, dunking under projectiles, um, you know, uh, crossover attacks and all the kind of basic strategies you do from, the, from back then. And so I think it's really going to be actually more accessible than in versus DC. Let's see, we've got... Um, what's the combo system like? Is it, is it as fluid as we've seen before? Is there more depth? The combo system's a lot more of a kind of custom combos from the player makes up you know it's, it's less kind of dialing in I don't think we have any attacks that are more than like you know three hits in terms of like uh, you know button combination sequences so there's a lot of juggling a lot of you know make your own thing people play you know I bet you I can knock them up here and then do this ground pound move and then do a dash move there and uh, so a lot of that stuff we see people making stuff up that we didn't even think of so that's always a nice uh let's see uh, will there be any exclusive characters per platform? Or are you guys being diplomatic? Um, well, we've announced, obviously we've announced Kratos is going to be in yes. the uh, PlayStation 3 version of the game. Um, we haven't, we're not really ready to announce anything beyond that, but uh, that's, uh, that's been announced. So you guys got something, right? Let's yeah. see. we got a great fatality here, too. we got folks very ex yeah. Oh, my. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, that's one of the ones that we thought crossed the line, so it obviously got in the game. <laughs> Uh, let's see, folks, excited to see Baraka. Um, is there going to be any kind of um, spectating mode for online matches? Yeah, we haven't talked about all of the online features, but mm -hmm. we're definitely being a lot more um, elaborate than just one-on-one -on -one fighting. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to more people to participate, and, you know, a lot of that stuff. We're, our goal is to really kind of recreate that whole arcade experience where you can, you know, see other matches going on and whatnot. And obviously more information probably coming later. Yes. Let's see. I'm sure a question you get a lot, are there going to be babalities or friendships? Um, you know what, uh, this is really, we're trying to be a little bit more of a serious Mortal Kombat with mm -hmm. this one. You know, I think we kind of kept taking a step further with, you know, And you built up to it. it. Yeah, and uh, so, so our, um, our goal is to be a little bit more serious. If we were to do something like that, we definitely wouldn't announce it. Half, half the fun is discovering, Exactly, right? that's, that's one of our... And, you know, to that point, what I have noticed, uh, in, even in the version you've got here, there's, there's a move list that you can call up yes. you know, within the menus and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, but that said, you guys are kind of notorious for putting in secret stuff. Yeah. So it seem, is it safe to assume that even though you're giving us a lot of information up front in terms of how the characters control, there it's, will be stuff to discover. It's absolutely safe to assume that. Uh, that, that, you know, that was our goal. Our goal is to really, we want to give something to the players who, who don't you know, go online and find uh, you know, all the special moves. So we're going to give away you know, the, uh, the, um, 
a lot of the moves in the game, but we have even more stuff buried into the game. There's stuff we haven't, you know, we're never going to mention, just gonna, people are going to find out after the fact. And, uh, but we really want like that fatality trainer. That's a, one of our goals is for more people to be able to experience that whole fatality uh, part of the game and kind of get into learning it and all that. Now there are a lot of questions about people asking if there are going to be any kind of retro nods costume wise. So what we're seeing, everybody's been pretty much updated, although, well, I mean, Liu Kang, he's always going to roll with his standard. Yeah, there's, there's um, you know, some of the ninjas, we have versions that are going to be um, like their classic form when you saw them in mm -hmm. MK1. It looks very retro, but it's, it's very cool in a lot of respects. I, I didn't think it would look as cool as, uh, as it does, but um, there's a lot of uh, kind of like that nostalgic kind of feel. So when you see Sub-Zero and Scorpion fighting each other with their classic costumes, you know, you really go back to the Wayback Machine and everybody's 15 again and doing all that. And so, in terms of in, in terms of voices, you're still Scorpion. Yes, yes, nice. I'm the uh, get over here and all that kind of crazy stuff. <laughs> nice, which you totally can't tell right now, but trust us, folks. Yeah. He's done it. We've heard him. Yeah. Uh, and let's see what else we got. Um, and demo, I think we've seen we've seen word of. Yes, I think it was announced. Was um, it announced? The, the, the PlayStation Three, the demo. Okay. Right. So that's definitely coming. So for folks that at home are wondering, there you go. Uh, okay, we've got people asking for cake. Sorry, it won't keep. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> and then, you know, just me as a fan, what's it been like? Because, God, how long has it been since the very first one? It's been... You know, we started the first one in 1991, the end nice. of 1991. <laughs> so this November will be uh, 20 years since, uh, since we started the first one. The first one came out in 92, around August of 92. So... Uh, it's really. Uh, Did you ever have any idea that 20 years later you'd be doing still something? doing? No, no. I well, had no idea. and even bloodier, right? Because yeah. I'm sure back then. Yeah, yeah. It's a, a lot. A lot of stuff that was just kind of like really simple, simple ideas that we had are just becoming like you know expected, <laughs> and uh, so it's pretty uh, pretty wild. And what do you think of the you know what do you think of the landscape now? I mean, uh, well, things like. Uh, I don't know how many games have like when you can pull somebody up into the bang their head on a uh, <laughs> on a passing train and there happens to be a northbound train that you uh, throw, oh, <laughs> throw and hit them there. That's so that's one of our <laughs> one of our my favorite fatalities. So we have a lot more fatalities that are just like that, you right. know, like in other 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 arenas that we haven't even shown yet. So I'm dying to show that. You know, and we're and we're looking at this. We see a bunch of empty things at the bottom. Um, that's pretty. That's. That's not bad for a roster. And we also see a little DLC icon there. Yeah, that's going to be a big part of this game is this DLC. You know, we're really, want, we're really excited about, you know, introducing new characters, kind of keeping, uh, keeping the game fresh. And, uh, you know, um, as well as there's unlockable stuff in the game, too, is obviously uh, we want this game to have a lot of content that you can just kind of work to unlock. Now, the DLC, obviously, is pretty far out. But, you know, sorry, my thing's falling out of my ear. Now, as far as the DLC goes, how much are the fans going to impact that? Like, you um, guys are kind of a lot, are very a lot. into supporting the fans. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, like I said, I, I, I have a Twitter account, and uh, you know, we have um, other like there's a Mortal Kombat Twitter account, and uh, if if we see you know a name coming up, you know, more than any other name, you know, we really know that that's gonna that's gonna influence our decision of who to put in the game. That's for sure. All right, we have someone that's demanding that we get you to talk about Kratos. Uh, what what about Kratos G Veronini? <laughs> so what's it been like implementing him into you know into that combat system? Um, it was actually pretty um, pretty easy. You know, um, uh, you know, in 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 God of War, he has these kind of long reaching uh, chains with uh, with, the, with the blades on them. So we didn't want that to be his basic moveset because mm -hmm. then you, nobody could come <laughs> close to him, and you're just gonna keep hitting on the, spamming that. Um, but uh, but he certainly has them in his special moves. And Kratos in in our game has more weapons than probably any <laughs> um, uh, Mortal Kombat character does. You know, he has the the that big Cestus thing, you know, the head of Helios, the, the, the bow and arrow mm -hmm. thing. And uh, so he, you know, if you see the kind of combos that you can do with that character, it's really, um, it's, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun to watch. Nice. And let's see what else we've got here. All right. Uh, MK Online Minion wants to know, will Noob Cybot have a flesh version of his primary costume? A flesh version? Um... <laughs> No, no, I think he's kind of like, like the shadow character, you know, very mysterious. I guess he's hoping for nudity, and that's probably not so much. Yeah, probably Nobody not. Nobody wants not to see Not this that. game. All right. 
Now, folks are really excited about this game. We've got a demo coming out. And you guys have shown us a lot. Yeah. With that said, there's stuff that we haven't seen. Just give us a sense, content-wise, what... You know, we haven't even gone into our whole story mode. Yep. You know, there is a epic, massive story that we're telling with this game. Uh, we can't wait to start showing some content on it. But you know, I was I was just saying, you know, that this is. I think this game is is has so much more content that hasn't even been seen by people, <laughs> and they've seen a lot. So um, so I, I guess over the next five six weeks before the game comes out, you're going to be seeing there. a lot of a lot of new news coming up on the game. And and here's our. One of the many classic ninja fights that are possible. Yeah. And this stage... This is Shang Tsung's throne room, kind of like a, uh, a more modern, kind of reigning version of the, the first one with him, with Shang Tsung sitting on the throne over there and uh, kind of watching the fight. So it's... Uh, Noob Saibot's like the, the... His big thing is he keeps throwing out this other version of him. I, I call him, like, that's Noob, and Saibot's the guy who comes running out there. So. There's a lot, a lot of his special moves that are involved in him. And so, as far as like the the fan reaction goes, were you surprised at all at the reception that it got? Um, you know, I actually, on on some level, I was kind of. Um, I certainly felt like there was a um, the planets were aligned with this game. You know, the last game was a T-rated game. You know, we had some unexpected characters, you know, in the in the game, and I think some people really kind of came back saying, okay, well, the next one we really want to be a traditional Mortal Kombat game, and that means M-rated, you know, and, uh, you know, fatalities and all the kind of over-the-top stuff, and we really kind of took that and went even further with, you know, let's go back to 2D gameplay, let's remind everybody of, you know, the kind of classic MK2, MK3 days, and that's kind of like our you know, with today's technology presenting that experience. Oh, you know what? The coins just reminded me. Uh, you know, there's a coin system in here that's also another thing for folks that are having a hard time, right? Yes, well, the, there, there's an entire unlocking system in mm -hmm. the game. Um, you know, like like the crypt and, you know, it's there's just tons of, of hidden codes, hidden uh, features that you, we have in the game that haven't, you know, like I said, we haven't even announced that you're going to be unlocking and there's an entire currency system in the game. So that's a, that's a whole other aspect that oh. we haven't even really gotten into. <laughs> Ow. Now, uh, I was talking uh, specifically about the challenge tower. You can actually use coins to sort of help yourself out. Oh, you're that's, right, yeah. right. That's, 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 thank you for bringing that up. Let me up. tell you about um, your game. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, in, uh, in the challenge tower, some of the challenges are admittedly difficult. The last one's insanely difficult. And, you know, so you're going to hit some, some brick walls. And um, here's a great uh, the, the vomiting oh. shot there. The, uh, so you're going to hit, hit some brick walls with, with it. And so if you, we don't want any kind of like progression stoppers where the, a player can't continue. But if you can't defeat a, a certain challenge, you can actually use some of your coins and kind of buy your way past it. Nicely done. Yeah. All right. Well, this has been a blast. I think folks at home can get a sense of why we're pretty stoked about this thing. And so thanks very much for coming by, Ed. We hope you enjoy the cake. And I appreciate that. I was, I was actually literally surprised with yeah, that. Yeah, you'd be surprised. Bakeries and MK, it's better fit than you'd think. Um, <laughs>